So, hello. Um, it's Tyler, isn't it? Yeah. Tyler? Yeah. Tyler. Tyler, you tell me a little bit about, I'm told you work in the games industry. So, like, is that true? Where do you work? What do you do? Tell me about it. Yeah. So, I, I work for a company called TT Games, and they, they've made most of the Lego games, like Lego Star Wars and Indi Lego Indiana Jones and all that. TT Games, they're like a lots of people who who know anything about the games industry will have heard of TT and Lego. Everybody's heard of Lego, so so you're working for like a really really well known games company. And is this where is this London, Hong Kong, Silicon? Where where is this that you do this? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a around the Manchester area. So it's uh, so it's in the north of England because a lot of people think like all these things happen somewhere else in the world. They don't realize that things like this happen in Manchester. Yeah. yeah there's, I think there's quite a lot of games companies around Manchester and quite a few around the North and all that. So you're in Manchester now, but you didn't always spend your life in Manchester, did you? You're from Yorkshire originally? Yeah. I uh, grew up in a town called Ilkley, which is in the, Bradford district. I, I, I've I been through Ilkley a few times, so I know it's not so far from Bradford, but I can't imagine many people thinking, oh, um, this uh, games developers coming from Ilkley, because Ilkley is like a very small little town, isn't it? Like a couple of supermarkets. It's not really where yeah. people think that video games developers come from. No, yeah. not really. <laughs> So I'm guessing maybe 10 years ago or so, you were maybe in year eight or year nine, 13 years old or so at school. Yeah. Did you know then that you were going to end up working for TT Games and Lego? Or did it just come as a complete surprise? You woke up one day and now you work for uh, TT. Well, I, I always knew I wanted to do something with like computers and maybe like making video games and all that because I, I really enjoyed video games as a kid uh but like um was more i mostly knew i wanted to do something with computers at the very least um but yeah i'm i'm trying to figure out so how you got from ilkley at school to now working for this company so were there things at school that helped you did you did you go to clubs with were, were the things online how, how did you end up on this journey um i mostly like found like started watching youtube videos around like small like computer projects and then found like uh programming so then i got some books on like program how to learn programming and different programming languages and then uh because my school never taught any sort of programming so i thought the best way to do learn more about that was to look online and find like youtube tutorials and uh website tutorials that must have been quite difficult because i'm guessing your you know if your teachers weren't showing you how to do this i'm looking for other people like did you have parents or friends who were oh here's what you need to do tyler get this book and then read this or were you just basically figuring it all out for yourself? Yeah, basically just figuring it out for myself because, like, like, I was, like, there's not really many people in my family that know much about that side of tech. You must have had people saying, no, Tyler, you, there's no money in that. You should be better off. Go and study maths or physics or something. Like that. Did you have people trying to tell you to do different things? no not really they like they they knew that like it jobs were well paid and all that so they, they like told me to go for it and yeah. so that was really good so you had the support of your family and your friends who were like yeah tyler if it's what yeah. you want to do then then go and do that so so you, when you left school you, you had GCSEs, A levels, and then you. Uh, is that right? Just, just GCSEs, and then I went to college and 
did a BTEC in computer science because like during like, the, the, my school never taught any like programming for A level. So I found uh, Craven College did a computer computing style course, which had programming. So I decided that was probably the best option. So Craven College, this is in Skipton, isn't it? It's just outside yeah. Skipton. And so while you were there, you chose a course that you, you, I think you're saying it wasn't necessarily, you thought like this is gonna be the best, but it was the best that was available to you. And you thought, well, at least I'm gonna be doing something I enjoy. Yeah. And then, so I'm still missing, there's like a few years, so you finished college and then you've ended yeah. up, did you go to university or something? Yeah, I, I went to, after college, I went to Newcastle University and, uh, did well I started on the regular computer science bachelor's degree and then when I got to my third year I was able to pick modules so I was able to pick stuff like games games programming graphics for games and all that and uh from like about halfway through my third year I was like I want to do more of this so I decided to switch to the integrated masters that involved games programming so i spent my fourth year just focused on like games programming and making like game engines like doing a lot of the back end learning about a lot of the back end code like uh graphics rendering and game physics and all that it sounds it sounds quite incredible like you sound like you've been very very determined and focused because you were saying like at the age of 13 you knew this is what you wanted to do but there was nothing at school to help you so you had to then go and find books and videos and things like that to help you yeah. you really would have liked to you know at 16 to have done a course on video games but there wasn't one but the next best thing you could find was compute a, a computing btech and then yeah. you went to university and Ideally, you would have done a degree in video games, but you didn't. You did a general kind of computer science course, and then finally you were able to specialize. Wow! Yeah. And and you stuck at it, and and you seem pretty happy with with you know you're enjoying your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, like it can get stressful at times, but other than that, it's like a really enjoyable experience, and being able to see a game progress through stages is has been really interesting when you're saying it can be stressful and there's you you can stand back some people might stand back now and say well look here was tyler at the age of 13 and he's done all these things and eventually he can stand back and say look you know he's he's got a, he's working now in the video games industry so if if somebody was watching this and they were 11 12 13 14 is there any advice that you could give to them? I mean, some things maybe that you tried that didn't work out for you or something that people said to you, but you weren't able to do that you would like some good advice that you would give? Um, mostly just like, like stick to it. Fine. If you like try, try different uh, things. Like if you want, if you want to do games, like, find online resources like unity tutorials or unreal tutorials and start start by doing that and if you enjoy it try progress and find more in-depth things and there's a lot of free stuff out there particularly with unreal engine and yeah. and unity there's lots of courses that you can follow online and you, yeah. you can watch lots of tutorials that people have done um and a lot of companies these days use Unity and Unity or Unreal rather than building their own engines now. And even if they don't, I presume some of the things that you've learned will transfer over to those as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of I think a lot of companies have made it so their engines are in the same style at least. So. And there was something else I was going to say. Did you ever get, do you think, wrong advice now that people said certain things that 
Like, did you ever get somebody saying, do you know what, Tal, you want to learn how to program in Java? Because that's going to, you know, do you ever get people giving you rubbish advice? And uh, Not really. Um, quite lucky then. <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, at least. That's fine. So um, right now, if you, when we finish this little discussion, if you decided you were going to go away now and you want to learn a bit more about some other particular YouTubers or people on Twitch or certain channels or anything that you'd recommend that have helped you understand certain things? Yeah, on YouTube, there's a guy called The Cherno who's really into making, like, the game engine side of things, but has like a, has like videos on C plus plus and programming. That's some low level stuff, but it games are faster in that kind of language. Cherno is that like C H U R or C H E R N O? I'll I'll have a look for that. Tyler, it's been really lovely to talk to you. And thank you, because I presume you're now going to go back and you've got some more lines of code to write or something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I've been doing some personal projects as well. Ah, OK. I suppose, uh, sorry, something else I just thought of, because at the moment um, I'm working from home. It looks like um, I'm guessing you're working from home as well. Yeah, 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 I've been working from home since March. I mean. So it, one of the things, I suppose, about video games is you, you are able to work in different places. You don't always have to be in an office with hundreds of other people all working. In it. So that's kind of yeah. helpful in a way. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. Tyler, thank you so much. And um, we'll, 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 we hope that this is, is going to be useful to other people. Okay.